Well, I'll tell you what, it's an incredible sight. More than 40 blocks of twinkling lights illuminating downtown Omaha. The Holiday Lights Festival isn't just about what we see, it's about the difference made through one important component, the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign. It is welcome Marjorie Moss of Blue Cross Blue Shield and Rachel Hallmeyer from the Capital District. Good to see both of you. Welcome. You. Marjorie, yeah. we saw you a couple weeks ago. Yes, for and Thanksgiving lighting ceremony. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How'd that go? That was that went over. Oh my there God, a lot it's of such a great moment when those lights turn on and there was T-Mobile uh, flashing lights everywhere. It was yeah. a great evening for the community. That Hundreds of thousands of people, great weather. Yeah, that would be fun to see. Well, can you remind our viewers, for those who don't know, uh, what is the purpose of the Holiday Lights Festival? Well, it's very simple. To celebrate the season, embrace and give back to the community, and really make some family memories. Mm -hmm. So, and Blue Cross Blue Shield is proud to support, um, this is our headquartered city in Nebraska, and we we believe in supporting this crown jewel of the community calendar. Mm -hmm. So it's really just to bring the bring the family together, but also almost every activity is free is free to, free and open to the public, mm -hmm. uh, except for just one. And a portion of those proceeds go to a very very worthy cause. All. Yeah, well, we're talking about that. <laughs> I mean, the marquee event of this whole thing is the ice rink. So uh, explain what, what where the ice because the new location, the new permanent yep. location yep. this year. Yeah. So uh, that new ice rink or the. Original ice rink is now located in the Capital District, um, which is Omaha's newest entertainment district. It's located right between 10th and 12th Street, right on Capitol Avenue. So it's a great location, and that is its new permanent home. It'll be there every winter, which we're really, really excited about. And so. why do people get so excited about the ice rink? What makes it so special? You know, it's just that winter wonderland feel. You know, nothing you know spells out winter more than the ice rink. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, what's great about about the rink is that um, it is involved with the holiday lights festival so a portion of our proceeds does go back to the shine the light on hunger campaign so every time you skate you're helping someone out so yeah the weather's been a little bit warmer i mean it's it's yeah. about 60 degrees out there right now i think it's going to start <laughs> dropping but how has the ice rink been and, and then more specifically the capital district itself because that's yeah. a newer part of town yep. that uh, people are re-familiarizing themselves with yeah, absolutely. So um, we do have a real ice rink, which is fantastic. And we've got some chillers that are just oh, making sure that it's cool, regardless of whether it's 60 degrees or whether it's 20 degrees. So, um, you know, weather hasn't really been an issue so far, um, but obviously people feel a little bit more wintry when it's, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit colder out, maybe snowing, but um, we're excited for that colder weather. But this last weekend was beautiful. We yeah. we had a full house, so it was Yeah, fantastic. it's nice to be out there when the weather's so nice. Yeah, <laughs> it's been great. It's been great. Well, let's talk about what's going on at the rink. Are there any special mm -hmm. events going on there this year? Yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff going on. Um, in particular, we've got um, a number of figure skating performances on Friday and Saturday mm -hmm. nights. Um, so check our website out for more information on that. Um, we also have um, an ugly sweater party that we're having Ooh. on December 21st. So break out those ugly sweaters. It's going to be Everyone fun. Everyone loves that. Yep. You get a free hot chocolate with that and then a dollar off your skate rentals. So um, it's going to be a good night. So. Well, Marjorie, the ice rink is associated with the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign. What's this year's Shine the light goal. What are we setting for a goal this year? 1.4 million meals for under-resourced wow. families. Wow. So that's incredible. Mm -hmm. And um, the ConAgra Brands Foundation will match up to $100,000 of the mm -hmm. proceeds that come in through the rink, as well as the Capital District and Blue Cross Blue Shield came to the plate as well for a $12,000 $12, gift. So we know that we can contribute through ice skating mm -hmm. uh, and then donating food, but how do, how do people do that? Well, there's there's bins at the rink, but yep. there's also bins at every Baker's location and every okay. Wells Fargo location, mm -hmm. and then also um, community community treasures downtown. So Jocelyn Art Museum, The Rose, things of that nature. Just check the holidaylightsfestival.org. Um, if, if you're going out mm -hmm. um, in the community, there'll probably be a place for you to drop it off. Yeah, the ice rink admission. Uh, hours of operation. Can you break that down for us? Yeah, for sure. So um, it's eight dollars um, to get into the ice rink. That includes your skate rental. Again, a portion of your proceeds goes back to the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign. Um, hours were open every day. Um, so while OPS is in session, we open at 6 p.m. and we're uh, open until 10 p.m. on weekdays. We're open a little bit later on weekends until midnight, and then we'll have extended hours when OPS um, is out of school. Yeah, holiday break. Yep, holiday break. break. So break. We yeah. open at 3 p.m. 
p.m. those days. So that'll I be I gotta get out there. Awesome. That'd be really That'd be fun. fun. Yeah. Let's take a field trip down yeah. there. Yeah. Let's, let's take a little field trip. <laughs> yeah, it'll let's be do great. It. I don't know how well I can skate anymore, but we'll, yeah. we'll find it's out. It's a good video. We've got penguins for us. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Holiday Lights Festival presented by Blue Cross and Blue Shield Nebraska. Of course, KMTV also a proud sponsor of this campaign. Uh, the Ice Rink, located right there at 10th and Capitol Ave. All right, yeah. you can check out HolidayLightsFestival.org for more information. Wonderful. Right. Thank you so much Thank for having you, us. Yes. Thanks, Thanks for coming. Good luck with everything. Well, a new series about